Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. In the last episode, we talked about the disruption caused by the Tesla Powerwall and Powerpack. In this episode, Tesla does some more disrupting, but again, it might not be exactly the disruption you were thinking about. If you're watching this series, then you know that Tesla sells cars. By next year, Tesla will have over 1 million of its amazing electric cars on the road throughout the world. How does Tesla get those cars into the driveways and garages of its customers? Tesla does it differently than every other big auto manufacturer. When Henry Ford started making the Model T back in 1908, he used a new type of manufacturing to make his cars a factory where the cars move along an assembly line and specialized workers install parts. But what happened to all those cars when they were done being built? Henry Ford and other manufacturers tried direct sales to customers through catalogs, but customers wanted to have places to get their cars repaired because these cars broke down a lot. So auto manufacturers invented the car dealership model. Often, the car makers would own the land and have a franchisee rent the land from them, and also take out construction loans from these car makers to build dealerships. The franchisees, the car dealers, liked this because they had an exclusive right to sell a manufacturer's car models within a certain radius, a little monopoly. The manufacturers liked this agreement because it got the cars off their books. The dealers were forced to buy the cars immediately from the manufacturer by borrowing from the manufacturer. But now that the dealers had the cars on their books, they're paying interest on loans to the car makers every month the cars sit on their lots. Ever wonder why car dealers are so desperate to sell you a car? Because it's burning a hole in their wallet. And did I mention that these cars broke down a lot? In fact, they were designed to break down. By designing the car parts to last just long enough, the auto manufacturer not only saved money by using less raw materials, but they could then sell parts to the dealerships to fix the cars as they broke. In fact, this is what made the dealership model work, because often the cars are sold to customers with very little profit margin. The repairs are the major profit source for the dealership. By coming out with new model years to create artificial demand, and forcing dealerships to keep buying a certain number of their cars to keep up with their quotas, manufacturers had a perfect model that squeezed the dealers and their customers. There's a reason car dealers have a bad reputation. It's a model built on deception and low quality. Today, just in the United States, there are over 16,700 franchised auto dealers that sold over 17 million passenger cars last year. That's over $1 trillion in new vehicles. And those dealers had over 310 million repair orders last year, with service and parts totaling more than $116 billion. Now along comes Elon Musk with a disruptive idea. What if we sell Teslas without dealers? What if customers went online instead and bought Teslas from our website? What if we don't make repairs a profit center for our company? What if we build a quality car that hardly needs maintenance? His idea is so disruptive that auto dealers have used their lobbyists and political weight to pass laws in many US states to keep Tesla from selling to you directly. Why do auto dealers need these anti-consumer laws? Because they want to keep their business model alive. Once people experience a car that doesn't need endless expensive repairs, once people learn about a quick and easy car buying experience, they will never look back, and the auto dealers know this. We are in the middle of another Elon disruption. Elon is disrupting the entire auto dealership industry. Is it any wonder that auto dealers in almost every state are desperately introducing legislation to slow down or stop Tesla's progress? The writing is on the wall for this industry. As more and more people discover that a Tesla means freedom from an antiquated and deceptive sales system, the auto dealership wall will crumble. Another billion dollar industry disrupted by, you guessed it, Elon Musk. Think about it. Auto manufacturers started at the turn of the 20th century by selling their cars in catalogs direct to customers. But they found a way to make more money. And they rode that wave for over a century. But we don't need that system. We don't buy anything else that way, do we? And why should we? 
buying directly from Tesla means that Tesla can start building your car exactly to your specifications when you hit the button. They don't have to keep a lot full of colors and options that customers may not want. They don't have to pay mortgages on land to store cars every month like dealers do. And Tesla can pass all these savings onto you. Tesla doesn't have to advertise with endless car commercials because Tesla doesn't spend a penny on advertising. And who ultimately pays for auto dealership and manufacturer ads? You do. Tesla doesn't have to hustle you with sleazy car salesmen because Teslas sell themselves. This is definitely another Elon disruption we can get behind. Thanks, Elon. We'll show you another Elon disruption on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.